gentlemen, the crew you've been waiting for, the Grand Imperial. Hello everyone, thank you for your time today. Our group decided to explore possible differences in ethical standards between the Taiwanese and foreign students at NSYSU. We started off with an open question regarding traits that students valued in leaders. After gathering, translating, and combining the results, the eight most popular traits that were mentioned were intelligence, honesty, empathy, vision, pragmatism, charisma, integrity, and courage. Please bear in mind that our surveys were not conducted in one language, so translating happened on both ends of the survey. Our total sample size was only around 80, with people coming from all over the world. Perhaps it was because of this that traits mentioned by foreign students showed less consistency than those of their Taiwanese counterparts. Taking these qualitative results, we then used traits the students valued and formed ethical dilemmas to see if there were possible quantifiable discrepancies between what students valued and their action of choice. Later on, all our survey numbers are based on a seven-point Likert scale, where one signified an undesired trait, while seven was a must-have for leaders. But for now, let's take a look at what other people have to say regarding the difference in ethical standards. So first of all, my first question is, do you believe there is a different set of ethics between the East and the West cultures? I think yes. First of all, I think like uh, Eastern culture are more, they are more conservative mm -hmm. and Western culture are more open. Yes. Open, open. Because Eastern culture, they have, how to say that, they are more um, in their culture. They mm -hmm. don't want to change. They don't, they are more conservative. They yes. also like to don't, don't don't take their culture, like don't disturb also yes. their practice. Mm -hmm. It's the way to be like to find a solution mm -hmm. between uh, their belief. Mm -hmm. and First we'll look at the results comparing Chinese culture, represented by the students from the People's Republic of China and the Republic of China, and foreign students from all over the world. You can see from the graph that for the foreigners, vision and intelligence are the two highest rated traits, with charisma and pragmatism at the bottom. For the students of cultural descent, courage and vision are the two top-ranked characteristics of leaders, but empathy and pragmatism are the lowest ranked. While courage wasn't mentioned by foreigners in the first survey, it ranked as the third most valued trait with a score of 6.08 out of 7. Within students from the ROC, there are differences that are worthy of note. The Taiwanese IB MBA students ranked vision and courage as the most valued traits, while pragmatism and empathy are the lowest. Local MBA students had courage and vision as their top two, while honesty and pragmatism were their least valued. One thing to pay attention to is the average score of the Taiwanese IB MBA students. It is much lower than any other group. The average score for a trait was 5.95 for the foreign students in the IB MBA program, 5.89 for the local MBA program, but only 5.06 for the Taiwanese students in the IB MBA program. The Taiwanese IB MBA students seem to be more conservative in their evaluation of traits. Within the local MBA program, there's some variation as well between PRC students and ROC students. ROC students rank courage, vision, and integrity as their top three, while PRC students chose courage, charisma, and honesty as their three most valued traits. The three lowest ranked for the ROC students were charisma, honesty, and pragmatism, while the lowest for the PRC students were vision and intelligence, which were tied for third and fourth, empathy, and pragmatism. I want to ask you, do you believe there is a different set of ethics values between the East and Western cultures? Ethic in business, you mean? Sure. Um, it's a diff there is a difference in um, how they do, but not in the ethic, not much. Oh, okay. As far as I know, uh, in the Western is uh, more uh, direct. Mm -hmm. uh, they want the same goal, but they do it in different ways. Mm -hmm. 
In the western they more uh, straight to the point and in the eastern values they may not uh, talk to the aborigin or may not uh, say but they do the same thing. Mm -hmm. uh, if I am the owner of the company, mm -hmm. it's not my business. For ecology, for environment, for culture, it's the government. It's oh. their decision. I'm a boss of a company, I have a project, mm -hmm. I don't think to deal with them. Oh, okay. If they, there is a law, if it's allowed, we mm -hmm. do it. We, we just say according to the law. Mm -hmm. We don't have to bribe to give them a money or build museum. Mm -hmm. From our second survey, we found that the choices made by students in the dilemmas conflict with that of the trait rankings, specifically in the act of courage. Only two of the IBM BA students actually picked the courageous solution to the ethical dilemma. In contrast with the rankings where empathy was ranked the lowest, the empathetic choices in the dilemmas were chosen most frequently. A study by Svetlana Holt and Joan Marquez over five semesters published in 2011 showed that empathy was the lowest ranking trait out of 10 leadership traits as chosen by MBA students in California. Our results from the trait rankings are consistent with this, yet the results from the dilemmas showed empathy as a primary choice for both dilemmas across all groups. Understanding cross-cultural ethics is vital to success in business and leadership. Leaders of international organizations need to understand the beliefs and mores of their employees not only to better lead them, but to make them willing to follow. As a leader, you need to be aware of what ethical beliefs can be emphasized to enhance your business. Simply translating the language of ethical policies is an inadequate strategy for multinationals. Businesses wanting to operate on the global level need to understand the beliefs of their employees, partners, and competitors. Ethics may seem an esoteric and unnecessary aspect of business, but only for the short-sighted. Understanding the ethics of individualism can help you understand the innovative nature of Western culture while coming to terms with Chinese guanxi and the complicated relationships of Japanese karetsu are essential for a multinational organization's survival. It could be possible to build a corporate ecosystem where symbiotic relationships thrive in multipolar ethical regions. Much of the groundwork for this has already been laid. It is up to you to benefit from it.